everyone welcome to my autumn haul I'm gonna be sharing lots of things that I have been buying over the past few weeks I have got clothes I've got a Primark uh, I've got Holland and Barrett I treated myself to some things that I don't usually buy in a month but I wanted to like stock up and that it's my birthday it's my birthday weekend it's the 2nd of October I had my birthday on the 1st and so I've just been getting some things that I really wanted to get but also that are functional and for the house because you know adulting and that so I'm gonna be sharing like decor um, also I will share my what I got um, in charity as well, secondhand stuff, um, some Holland and Barrett stuff, Primark, B&M. The first things I'm going to show you is what I already had. So first up we have this um, like branch situation and it has little robins. If you don't know me, I have a robin that visits our garden every single day, like hours every day. Um, and he just comes and sits on our fence, eats worms, that kind of thing. And so I thought this would be cute in memory of him. Um, so I bought this uh, last year. I think it was from Marks and Spencers actually. Yeah, M&S. Um, so I usually put this at the top of the stairs, but like, I'll just see wherever it goes. Um, I also got this broomstick from TK Maxx like two years ago and it's not a witch's broomstick because we don't do witchcraft here but it's a really nice like I'm a homestead girl like I love DIY crafts that kind of thing natural materials actually does it go well together like could I just do that and then it would be look like an actual thing yeah okay we could try that um, and see how it goes but yeah this I usually put lights on and put it by the door it's really cute in October when it gets a bit darker and that like you need all the lights you can get um, so we'll put that back I also have next I have this gorgeous wreath that I did make um, I have kept this on the top of my dining room shelf and it just sits there and it's it's finally time like welcome back out my darling i use like actual nature from the forest i just went foraging for these ferns that were obviously once green and i left them in the sun and then they went this lovely brown color and then you have all of the details there you've got the lovely oranges and the cinnamon sticks and yeah it's really good and I just got the base from TK Maxx like years ago and these are the wreaths that I actually used for my wedding um, and DIY a few of them for the ceremony so cute little fun tip there if you do want to see I think I have some like random footage like vlog footage of preparing for the wedding so if you want to see that please comment and I'll see like maybe if we get to a certain number of subscribers by mid vlogtober I will share that wedding stuff and like do a video of the wedding as well. Um, okay and then we also have this random thing this was like second hand these are just conkers and pine cones and stuff from the pine cones and um, uh, yeah conkers from the forest and like outside and just this which needs switching up and changing out um, I usually I did put this like under the mirror there but I'll show you what I might put there this year but this is just some bits that we could use for anything really that's last year also from last year I got um, some fabric pumpkins I think someone was selling them on Depop so I just supported her her name's Claire and if she does some more then I'll just try and link it or I'll share on my Instagram follow me on Instagram and um, I'll share her links and her pages but I got three of them they're quite cute they they usually sit like in the living room somewhere because like I have a velvet sofa that's blue so I thought it would go nice but we'll see where these will go but they're 
they're literally made from like old clothing and old material which is lovely because we love to reuse and recycle so then I have some like random flowers flowers from the wedding that kind of thing that I'll just pop into a vase and just brighten the place up I usually use these in summer as you can see I've got some there and some around the house as well and then I've got this box of like I tried to do the dried orange things and a lot of them came out quite burnt but I still used it because you know it took a lot of time they actually still smell really good so I've just got like lots of acorns and just a bucket full of autumn nature things and a candle that I got for my birthday as well last year um, I also have some more conkers in this box as well and like some cinnamon sticks which actually I'll just pop in here so yeah lots of things to reuse from last year which is really good I love that um, next And then we have some really cool like DVDs. So I found this on the street, someone was throwing them out. My, last year on my birthday, I went for a walk and I saw these literally on my birthday. So this is the Gilmore Girls uh, first season in DVD. It has all of the seasons now. This is a Gilmore Girls place, like if you're here and you don't know what Gilmore Girls is, we're going to be watching some clips together during this vlogtober season, but get to know because it's just a vibe, like I've been watching Gilmore Girls since I was a child when it used to come on TV, like before on Netflix, like my auntie used to put it on and I would be like what are these guys, like they're talking too fast. But my auntie really loved Lorelai and now I know why, like, she's a vibe. So I put this one out, do you like, I put this one out during the summer and spring months because I've got like a blue theme going on. And then for this one, I'll, I'll put in the autumn and winter. How lovely. <clears throat> okay, next we will go to Primark, I'm gonna speed through this because I've got a lot to show you. So first in Primark, we got lots of these florals, beautifully arranged by myself, if I may add. Um, they are about a 150 a stem, but the darker ones are 250 a stem. Like, I'm giving away my secret. I kind of just don't want anyone to get them. Do you know what I mean? But then like, what is it? What if? What is this haul if it's not to show you guys what's in the store? So, this is what we're dealing with. I love these and I would get more of course, but I just was really conscious about just spending loads, like just because it's autumn. Um, I have spent loads already, like I bought myself some new trainers and just, yeah, life is expensive. So we just went for those. I will probably put those like in the hallway or maybe on display like on the table stay tuned for where we style them then I got this wreath I, I was I was literally thinking like where shall I get a wreath from for the front door this was 10 pounds okay this was 10 pounds I saw it and I was like nah I went back for it because again money and I like this one and I've already put it on the front door and it looks really lovely. It doesn't look like super fake or ugly or anything like that so I'm happy with it and I'm happy that I spent only £10 on it. Okay and then from Primark we just got ourselves some lights. I got this times two which is the strip lights and they are two meters long and um, they literally like are peel and stick so I got those and then I got the fairy lights because who doesn't need a bunch of fairy lights in autumn and winter okay okay 
they're all battery powered I have some reusable batteries so that's good but I did end up buying some because some were, they were a pound so I got some batteries for those also some home some decor for the table look how cute these are oh and this as well but this is ceramic so first I'll show you this it's like like a sort of glass is it porcelain I don't know but I thought this would be nice because I've got gold accents and a glass table so I was thinking like put it on the round coffee table in the living room this was £2.50 I like that because it's re um, obviously you can reuse it and also you can use it for Christmas which I intend to keep a lot of stuff for Christmas maybe just change add some reds or whatever I don't like red but for Dan like we'll do we'll see what he wants as well and then we have these lovely stone effect apples how gorgeous are they and then this mushroom which I thought was really nice I love again I love a bit of wood so um, I thought these this would be nice together um, for like a Thanksgiving tablescape or again maybe like some bookends oh I'm gonna I'm probably gonna have a hard time styling but I'm trying to stay minimal especially in the kitchen because my mind is just like like that so I need everything to be quite minimal but then my personality is quite so it's just yeah it's a hard balance but we'll see okay so that's all I got from Primark should we switch it up a bit should we do should we go to B&M now or should we do Holland and Barrett let's go to B&M so before that let me show you these tags that I bought from the works just some tags for like my uh, small business that I'm working on I'll share more about that soon but I need these tags and also I thought they'd be really good as gift tags for Thanksgiving presents and also for like Christmas stuff so trialing those out and I also went to M&S and got these which is like Christmas spices but I'm gonna be working on some recipes some tea recipes so I thought this would be good like just to buy um, and also from m and I also got some really heavy things so I got one two oh my gosh that's gone like mouldy okay we need to sort that out <laughs> and then three I got some pumpkins to style in the kitchen but also again to eat uh, well it's culinary squash but yeah thought just get a bit of seasonal um, food going on uh, they were a pound each no matter what size so I got that also from M&S And I found some conkers on the floor because it's conker season and I just can't help myself but collect conkers. I am that girl, like I was that child like carrying conkers in her pocket and I just, yeah, I love it. Okay, so B&M. So first we got some scrub daddy things. I have been uh, converted to scrub daddies I have one already but I thought let's go for the cute scrub mommy again and this lovely heart shape like if you don't know what a scrub daddy is please go ahead and check it out because they are amazing technology they really do clean so well and they also hold the suds really well so it's something that you need this is super super solid and then when you use hot water it goes soft and when you use cold water it goes hard and I got a caddy because I tried to use it without and again anything that's it's not even the fact that I was like sold on just the hype 
I genuinely just, I want to make my life easier. I want to make washing up, cleaning easier. So you just stick this on your sink and then you pop this. How cute. Does it work for this one? Oh, I need more. I need one for the bathroom. Listen, that bathtub, it can be a nightmare to clean. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the bathroom. Yes. Okay, this is for the bathroom. This is for the kitchen. Only one caddy, but it's okay. So I got some scrub daddies uh, and a scrub, yeah, scrub mommy. This is called a scrub mommy because it has a sponge and this is a scrub daddy. We also have a bathroom caddy, but I'm actually gonna use this for the kitchen to put liquid and a hand wash in. So that was like, what, three pound, got that. I also got this um, pair and I thought I might spray paint it if I'm not like a fan of the colorway but it's a like a basically a plastic pair and I think it's nice with this you know you see the theme going on this is from Primark they did have a pair but it was porcelain and I like this better so I'll put that with the faux fruit it's giving like grandma's house faux fruit like the plastic fruit but like aesthetic like millennial do you know what I mean isn't it it is okay um let me bring this round here got so much from B&M got myself some micellar water some giant micellar water because I'm starting to wear makeup again and I need to remove it easily so I got that I also got this organizer and it's mainly for like my makeup because again I just feel really cluttered with like a makeup bag it feels very chaotic to like be searching for things in there so I thought I'd just get one of these organizers it's two pounds um, and I'll see how I go with putting my makeup inside this um, I I got this, which is a three tier cupboard organizer. And it's expandable, as you can see. And it was five pound. It's not the most aesthetic, but I need something for my spices. So I'm hoping that the spices do rest on there. I could have got a spice rack, but none of them were giving and none of them were giving practical. Um, so yeah. I'll just have a look and see if this works. I'm praying that it actually works. I also got, this is actually inspired by Gemma Louise, by the way, Gemma Louise Miles. She has done a, uh, are you serious? It's broken. <laughs> Okay, I got these two mugs because I just couldn't resist. I couldn't resist, but this one is flaming broken. Can you see? It's cracked. Anyway, they are beautifully um, like stacked also. And they have this sort of amber handle. And I'm into glass teaware now. I really am. So I, I was gonna get three even, but I just got two. I managed all this time and then somehow it got cracked. Never mind. Anyway, so I got these two mugs. I'm gonna have to, I've got the receipt, so I'm actually gonna go and exchange it because. Um, I got myself a measuring glass jug because I need one. I usually use my massive blender to measure stuff but 
this is really handy so I got a jug um, again I told you it's practical it's like some of it's practical some of it's just cute I got two of these glass jars with a cork lid I'm gonna be putting some food in here some really practical food um, maybe some like nuts or some of the beans that I only get like 500 grams or something if it can fit in so I'll be filling those pretty soon I also got this cute glass like yeah this glass like it's got pressed flowers on and I, yeah I could probably do it myself but I thought oh it's 250 um, I use herbal tinctures a lot like um yeah like tinctures are basically or tonics are um alcohol formulated herbal medicine so i have one that i uh, use whilst i'm on my period and after just to bring my iron levels up um and yeah i thought it'd be cute to like just put it in here i use hot water to like burn off the alcohol and then I can just shot it. Yeah, this is cute. Isn't this so me? Like, I love it. I couldn't really leave it. But that mug, I'm so sad. The receipt. Okay. I also got this, some really wooden things, like everything's wooden, but uh, Gemma also got these and I was like, yeah, I'm here for these. So I usually use like my actual chopping boards to style but um oftentimes it's difficult and then like when Dan washes up like he I always move things but if he washes up he will put the chopping boards where he thinks they will go or he just puts them anywhere um and so I just want some some things that will just like stay placed so these were five pound for two and I thought they were really cute and I've been eyeing them up to be honest like for about a year now like every time I go in I see these so I thought I'm gonna get them again I treated this like my birthday shopping trip can you believe it um okay and this I have been trying to use what I have in the house as a spoon rest and I've also been thinking do I need a spoon rest but I need a spoon rest and I can't remember who has one. Oh, Gemma actually bought one that was in, um, I think she did, that was in uh, B&M, but I didn't like that one. So this was 250 and it says, have a rest. So I'm thinking, oh, I have a spoon. So you know when you've just like scooped out some chickpeas and then you wanna, you wanna, rest it but you don't want to mess up the table you just put it on there like that and it rests how lovely I'm so happy like these are the things that are hopefully gonna make my kitchen life easier and cool and for the um, for the dining room I got this lovely coat rack. We've been trying to think of a way that we can store coats downstairs without putting them on the banister, like at the bottom of the stairs. Like people do that, which is fine. But for me, I find it very like enclosing and that place can already be quite dark. Um, also, I need to order rug dark tape because I'm cleaning the carpets out there because they are filthy. Um, so I'm going to clean the carpets, I've got a rug that I'm going to show you in a minute, put the rug down um, and maybe add some lights and then remove the coats and put them on this baby which is, it's literally like metal so it'll go over the door, I'll probably have to put some like pads there to, so it doesn't ruin the door but I can't wait to use this, it's just literally, it was £4, it was £6, it went down to £4. I just thought, you're not really going to see it, it's just to hang the coats at the back of the dining room door. So, this is what I got. Really happy that we finally got something. Then, I think that's the last thing from B&M. Some pink salt. Oh, I don't have a darn. I knew I should have bought that salt grinder. 
spice grinder. Anyway, we needed some more pink salt and I usually buy it in bulk from Buy Whole Foods online, but I don't have, I didn't have it on my list, so I didn't. But then I saw this and I think it was um, like three pound or two pound. And there is quite a lot of salt in here. There's like 540 grams. And it's in this little corkscrew jar, which I thought is so aesthetic. It's so on brand. Do you know what I'm saying? It's gonna look actually really cute, so we don't have to hide it. We can actually put it on display. And it's heavy, so it can actually, mm, but I'm gonna need to like actually grind it. I've got a pestle and mortar, so I'm probably gonna have to just do a little bit at a time and then pour it into the jar that we do have. Or I could just like grind it all somehow and then pour it back in. Okay, that's the last thing that I got from B&M, some baking paper. Okay, next up is Holland and Barrett, my fave shop ever. I'm always in there, I get lots of things online. I get lots of points, so free things because I'm in there so much. Um, yeah, it's a good shop for, like I buy coconut oil from there, lots of things, but I'm gonna show you. Right, so this is what we got big bag so first we have my fave tea from Pucker I think which is the three chamomile so this tea actually has three types of chamomile would you believe but then actually yeah because different countries grow different herbs it's the same herb but different kinds right so this is a soothing floral fusion of african egyptian and european chamomile when i tell you this if you like chamomile cool try this if you don't like chamomile try this it's sweet in itself i feel like the african the egyptian because it can't be the european because like i've tried it already um, and it doesn't bang as much as this bangs and I promise you all that is in there is chamomile there's no sweetener or anything and the the percentage the most percentage is the African which is 70% African um, chamomile which means you never know which African country it is but I think that this it's just phenomenal like I love I love this this tea I I drink chamomile pretty much every time I'm on my period because it is amazing for digestion for cramping for easing soothing it's so like just nourishing as a herb you don't need to drink it only when you're going if you want to sleep it won't put you to sleep straight away either like if you drink if you're drinking it throughout the day um i wouldn't like go ahead and like drink loads and loads but if you're having a cup like just to soothe or carve the nervous system calm the nervous system this is really really good like i'd get into chamomile if i were you i would and they use organic herbs as well so it's going to be like really nice and rich and full of nutrients and then there is the peace blend now i did go to their pr event with my mom um in the summer and we did try a number of their new blends and this one was one in particular that i really enjoyed it has spearmint or spearmint which is actually so fragrant and sensory like when you brew it you leave put the lid on like let it infuse and then just inhale the scent of the spearmint it's just heavenly i'm gonna start doing that for my morning um meditations i usually use any tea but this is gonna just lift the spirits then we've got ashwagandha which again i've been using for a good like three years now um, in different forms and it is really good like for just strengthening the nervous system but also for calming and just being that soothing it's an adaptogen I believe so whatever you need it kind of like works 
in that way in terms of like giving you more or less um, of calm or energy yeah it's whatever your body needs right so the, the other one is hemp seed oil I'm sure there's more in there as well but what's coming through the hemp seed oil I believe is really really good um, as well for you and yeah it's just it's great it say so it's stillness settles in those who discover their true center find it in organic chamomile flowers hemp seed and ashwagandha oh yeah it's beautiful this tea is really nice i should stop talking about tea now but yeah those are the two teas that no i bought another tea this one is twinings now I do usually buy, buy sleep teas from Pucco as well but this one was a bit cheaper if that was buy one get one half price or buy one get one free this was just already like low price um, but it's the sleep tea and I usually get sleep tea that has valerian in it because it really really like hits for sleep this will make the time where you're falling asleep way shorter um i think it like increases the gaba waves i think that that's what it is which um means that you're you're drifting into rem sleep which is like that really nu nutritious or yeah like dense um sleep part of your like phase of sleep much quicker so yeah, it's got um, chamomile, lavender, passion flower, which again is really, really good for contributing to normal sleep. Valerian root, 4%. Valerian root is very strong, so um, you don't need a lot. One time I literally had like a quarter of a teaspoon and it sent me, I was a little bit shook. But yeah, now I just have it in like a blend rather than loose. Um, but yeah, I love that tea. Then on the topic of herbs, I got lots and lots and lots of trip drinks. So I got, I think I got three of each or two of each, but I, I love trip drinks. Like I've been drinking trip drinks now for about a year and a half when I had my hen do slash, um, so it was a zen hen, like a, I had like a zen, birthday sleepover hen night where we drank and drank leans and like did sip and pay and just fun stuff so these are infused with cbd and there is lots of different herbs in each one but all of them are like very calming and oftentimes like when i'm going when i'm going out and i'm rushing and i'm like panicked I just take one of these and it instantly calms me before the event if I'm feeling anxious before an event I will often take one of these to drink um, and you just feel like you can you can show up in that room but you're not so like like hyper or whatever or anxious this is really good it says find your calm amidst the everyday chaos so I mean I'm not one to like tell everyone to just go and buy lots of things but if you do get to try these they're currently on offer in Holland and Barrett so get yourself some I can't wait to like style these hello style them in the fridge all nicely together that's gonna be cute I also got some marshmallows because I thought it would be nice to put them on the fire if we do end up having one um, this week or next weekend. So these are the vanilla vegan marshmallows, super fluffy, free from. They're from Holland and Barrett, they weren't on sale but they did actually have a voucher, like I think 25% off when you spend over 20 pounds or, no, 15% off when you spend over 20 pounds and sometimes they do like more when you spend more. Um, but it works out really good. I also got, oh, the, the other one's upstairs, but I got these uh, Daisy or Doisy and Dam chocolates. They are new, so I've said, oh, let's give them a try. They are the Honeycomb Dark Chocolate Bites, and I think, I think we should give it a try now, like, so, 
It smells very dark chocolatey. There's obviously not much in the pack because these days, like, you know, let's try. That's what it looks like. So they are made with no palm oil. They are made with ethical cocoa. Yeah, like really just simple ingredients. Nothing too crazy. And they are also vegan and they are gluten free as well. Okay. I thought it was going to be soft, I'm not sure why. But they are really nice and you don't need any more than what's in the pack, that's for sure. They're not massively sweet, dark chocolate, honeycomb. 70 no, it's 60% honeycomb and 40% dark chocolate. So, yeah, I would give these a try. They have um like ones that look like Smarties. The chocolate smarties i think it is or is it yeah um they are really really nice um i think they're called mms and their um their dark chocolate buttons are also quite nice as well you know what all of their range is really nice so if you do go and try something you want something sweet something cool try this brand as well in holland and barrett um, okay, quickly now, because I'm running out of time, I got uh, some peanut butter because Dan wanted some more peanut butter, like it's really high in protein, he used it in smoothies, I put it in like cooking and smoothies and stuff like that as well. So I just got some Meridian one because this is really big, it's 1k I believe, 1kg, and that was about like £8 or £7, could have even be £6. More trip drinks. Then I got some gravy powder because I love gravy and I am gluten free and I like to make my own but I just I'm I just I'm dying for like the perfect gravy and I'm actually going to a Sunday roast like in a moment so I'm just very excited to get some vegan gravy in me. Um, so I got some of this and I also got some bullion but the reduced salt because this is basically like stock powder, instant stock powder. I find it's going to be more, um, it's going to last longer than the stock cubes because we're running out of those really quickly. This has reduced salt, the big one has lots of salt and it's, it's too salty. So they have a reduced one and I just picked that up as well. Those aren't as cheap, but I, yeah, it's just something that I basically choose to spend on. Then I got some bath salts. Really sad that I forgot the Sleep brand. It's upstairs because I used it the other night. But this one is the Recover um, blend. So it's got white willow, which again is really, really good for recovery. It's a herb. Um, it's got eucalyptus and arnica as well and it's all of that is infused in Epsom salts which again are really great um, great for magnesium intake if you are on your period get this in like just soak in some magnesium salts and essential oils the purple packet would be really good especially if you're in pain and you want to just go to sleep the purple packet would be good um, so this revives because the essential oils, the eucalyptus, is more reviving, whereas the other one has valerian and lavender. So I love these. I just, yeah, I need to have loads of these. If you're thinking of buying me a late birthday present, anything that you saw here, but these especially, because I use these constantly and I usually get them in bulk, but they don't have the essential oils in the bulk ones. That's all for Holland and Barrett. What else do we have? I treated myself to some new makeup. So I decided um, I wanted to try the Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. So I only got a few things because actually they have a lot of out of stock items that I wanted. But I first got the Tinted Moisturizer. She did a little test on me. So it, it's comes in a bottle like this and I love how the packaging has a story as well easy for people to use if they have mobility issues or if they are like disabled then this is a really should be an easier way I'm not gonna put it on actually I'm wearing it right now but 
It's really buildable, great coverage and when you use this first and then like I've got some concealer that I use from the body shop, put it on on top, it just gives this flawless look. So I'm really happy with that. I think that was about, I think it was either 19 pounds, I think it was 19 pounds actually, or it could have been like 21, around that mark. So I got the blush in the color Joy. I usually get like an orange blush, but I, decided to go for a bit of a pink since I'm going to be like my hair is quite orange and I didn't want to just like overdo it on the orange so I'm wearing it currently now yeah I'm grateful to have like been able to try Rare Beauty because I've wanted to try for ages and it is definitely always sold out like everywhere and I have a, an, a Space NK actually in my local town so yeah just took a trip there before the gym Okay, now for the last part, which is the clothes. The first thing I want to show you is this Bourge coat, I believe. I bought it from the car boot sale when I was uh, doing my first car boot sale in my area. And I'd wish the arms would be longer, but I'm going to have gloves on mainly, like when it gets colder. So this is it. So yeah, that's the um, coat. And then I found this, which isn't the same color shade, but this was from the charity shop. So I thought I'd get it to match and wear it together because why not? I will show a clip of me trying on the ones that I was gonna get as well. Um, because yeah, I had I had a bit of trouble deciding. I might wear this to go up to the pub actually. Yeah, it's giving actually. It's giving. It's giving. So yeah, it's really nice. I like I like the fit. And I love this hat, I don't know, I'm just quite obsessed with this hat actually. It's very warm, it's actually brand new, which is perfect. This hat was £7 and the coat was £10, so together honey, £17, okay? Okay. And then I also got this little robin from, someone made it, it's handmade and um, yeah, it's earrings but doesn't really work in my ears so I wear it as a brooch I'm gonna wear this okay next up we have two blazers so I wanted to fulfill my autumn winter um, mood board wardrobe section by getting some staple pieces like a blazer and a black mini skirt I've already got a black polo neck and I'm working my way towards it this blazer is Sandro Paris if you know the brand it's tags on honey brooch on the detailing, like the tags are on, okay, the tags are on. Someone literally, yeah, okay. This retails for, let's say 350 pounds, okay? So I got a steal, because when I was in Paris, when I was in France, I went into Sandro and I was looking at their stuff and I was like, I love it in here. I'm gonna start saving up to buy maybe one or two pieces um, from this store because I wanted to get into like, not really like get into designer pieces, but I want to shop well. And I also wanna start like investing in some pieces because I do love fashion. Um, but I just was constantly buying like just random fast fashion so now I buy more with um, intention and 
to last and this is what it's giving it's quite big one might think it's like too big do you think I should keep this or do you think I should sell it um, yeah what do you think my mom thinks I should sell it Dan thinks I should sell it Chris Lee thinks I should keep it I think these are like really wide and I'm like hmm don't know how I feel about that when I try the other one on you'll know why I prefer that fit but I still think it's a really good blazer again this one was also from is also second hand um, and this has like some detailing like it has this inside it basically says Burton director suit it says pure wool pure new wool it says CV or yeah so CV whatever that means or CY appointed to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II Taylors Burton in Leeds M Burton limited edition I think Leeds what does that mean because anyway all I know is it's very warm and I haven't stopped wearing it since I bought it this baby was six pounds fifty okay six pounds fifty I love this it's more like it's less out there do you know what I mean with the shoulders and again it's more like yeah it's less oversized I just wear it like this short skirt but yeah that is literally all that I've got for autumn and winter I cannot wait to style these pieces honestly my favorite thing is this wreath so I'm gonna put it on the door I'm gonna clean the entire house not in one day but I just need to get organized I'm probably gonna like do some Mrs Hinch res uh, uh, research and just get myself cleaning organized um, I'm gonna be saying a lot in the a lot of that in these vlogs because it's where I am in life but now I have a dinner date with my lovely friend and we're gonna have a Sunday roast at the local pub again that is just it was on my autumn list like that's how much of an autumn girl I am and yeah I'm really like I'm excited to clean because I have this like come on so cute but yeah thank you so much guys for watching and sticking with me haven't done something like this ever really um, and I'm still getting used to the viewfinder being there and you being there but I really hope that you enjoyed today and I will be sharing lots of behind the scenes stuff and it's gonna get quieter because obviously it was pre-birthday and birthday weekend but it's gonna get quieter in the vlogs but we're gonna be doing some really cozy things just getting ourselves together reading making hot drinks all of that jazz please if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up give it a like share a comment share it on the instagram the socials the whatsapps all of that and um yeah let me know what you would like to see next and i will see you next time